guys, welcome back to the two days in May tournament here at the Grange. Um, we're going to take you to the back nine here at the Blockhouse Dark Side. We saw some pretty good golf on the front nine. Um, watch Snappy Cole take the lead by one with three people Heinberg, Ricky Snap, and Barry Schultz. One back of Snap. Join with me now is Chris Dickerson. He's going to give you some hole by hole description. Hey guys, we're going to start out here on hole 10. Hole 10 is 307 feet. It is slightly downhill off the tee pad, but it raises back up in the second half of the hole. It's a uh, hyzer. There's, I think there's one tree to miss in the fairway. Yeah, this is a, you got to go high with this shot too. It's not really a low hyzer. See Snappy go here. You're gonna go high and try and avoid oh, so and split those three trees. Um, this is probably one of the tougher holes on the dark side as far as lines go. Mm-hmm. Like I said, there's that one tree, but the fairway is so tight you can actually get to that back side of the fairway a lot quicker than you would expect. Yeah, that's true. You kind of have to have like almost a stall of hides are here. Ricky going with the backhand F3 there, trying to turn it over. <laughs> May have caught a little bit of cabbage. I don't know how he ended up. Looks like Calvin's throwing his eagle. Trying to get that back door. Catches the little stuff and falls down just off the fairway. Yeah, he shouldn't be too bad there. His was pushing, his was pushing like he said, a little bit deep. Kind of want a little bit higher, a little bit more hyzer. Kind of a stall. We'll see if Barry can do it here. Oh, oh, that's, that's it. That's the fairway tree. That yeah. And his look of displeasure Everybody. says it all. Yeah, and from where Barry was, that was kind of a tight line to get a hyzer there. It's a very narrow fairway, probably, you know, 15 to 20. 20 feet wide and pretty tight. Snappy looks like he kicked over beside hole two's tee pad, throwing a tomahawk. Doesn't look like he made one. it out. Yeah, I didn't see where that one ended up. <clears throat> no, that's a good stance though for Calvin there. Three is not a bad score on this hole at all. It's not. I definitely feel like I definitely feel like twos are possible, and it's a bonus birdie. You kind of don't really expect this one just because of how tight the line is. Got the lefty with the best shot of the group. Oh, give him that one a good bid. Here's Barry with another another sidearm. Grange bringing out some very sidearms here. That's rare. Oh, Snappy not too happy with that, but a little late release. Ricky with that casual spin putt, gonna tap in his three. That was a five for Snappy Cole. Barry gonna I'm tap in his four. And Calvin tapping in his three. All right, we move on to hole 11. We saw Calvin and Snap both take pars, which is pretty good. Snappy Cole with an unfortunate double bogey and Schultz with a bogey. This is the fish hole. Uh, this is a really famous hole out here at the block house. Um, there's a big fish gong down in the middle of the fairway. And uh, sometimes people hit it during the tournament and it really distracts a lot of other players. This is a hard ante shot. You're kind of throwing a mid range or a putter on a line like Calvin's is maybe a little bit wider than that. He may be early. Um, looks like maybe he did sneak down there. You're just throwing a nice little ante shot here, trying to trying to get yourself in position down the bucket. It's all downhill once you get around this bend. Barry's pushing a little bit too far forward. Got to find the cabbage on the left-hand side. Looks like he's throwing that red rock. He's thrown a lot on the front nine. Yeah, I think I think you're gonna see Barry throw that quite a bit here. 
snappy, I think, just through the line that you want to throw if it's not yeah, too far forward. Yep, he's going to be down there, probably looking at a 25-footer. Good attempt from the right side fairway. That's really jail over there. To get out of there is pretty, pretty good to get that close. Yeah, I don't think there's anywhere on the rough in this course uh, that you can say it's easy up and down. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, that's true. I don't. I don't think there is. Oh, snap, he had a little bit, oh, oh, a little oh. bit longer look than I thought. But man, that was a good looking putt. Basket just didn't let him stay in. Just Calvary. a little high. Little high. Yeah, hole eleven's a hole. You don't really expect a two on, kind of like ten. It's a bonus two. You know, it's a good shot um, if you get it. A lot of people throw it and end up short, and uh, everybody takes their pars and moves on. Hole 12 is 300 feet downhill with a slight right finish. It's it's probably about 300 feet to the basket, but it's downhill probably plays 250. Yeah, I agree. Ricky threw an M2 there that kind of got a little early on him. Calvin goes a little bit early also, catches left. And here we are with another putter from Barry. And that is pretty. That's how you play this hole. Yep, that is the exact shot. Just a nice little smooth putter that you know is going to turn just a little bit right down the gut. Snappy sure. just didn't turn enough. Ricky with a jump up from probably about 130 short goes a little long, but he'll have a nice little low coming back for his three. Snappy lining up his downhill bid. Just a little low. Calvin hitting that left side snuck down here quite a ways, but as you can see, anywhere off the fairway, a little left or right, you got some tough hollies to deal with. And couldn't get enough height on that one to get that in. And Mr. Automatic misses a putt a little left. Calvin will tap in for his three. Barry with his two. and he's in a tie with Ricky for second. And now we have hole 13, 318, uphill. Um, there's the guardian tree that Barry just passed right there. That's a tough spot to get out of. Uh, Barry played that shot textbook. It's a nice little turnover fairway um, right up the middle. You're gonna see Calvin throw his champion Viper here and somehow get through the guardian tree up to the left and that's actually gonna be a putt. Yeah, for most right-hand, backhand go. players, you want to throw something that's just slightly overstable, get it to turn a little bit, and have it finish a little left once you get past that grouping of trees in the middle. Yeah, man. Well, get Rick. Keep turning. Oh, boy. Nice. Lefty finding a line right underneath the bucket. That's was that? a good shot. F5. Well beat F5. Calvin knocks it down. That's a big putt. Pretty sure he was outside of the circle there. That's a pretty good 
Uh, Snappy makes his two from 28 feet. Lefty with a drop in. That's a pretty good shot there. I believe Ricky threw his uh, F3 there again. He throws out a lot out here at the at the Grange. Barry lining up his look at two with his Rocket City putter. and catches a roll it looks like this is a comeback just a little short I bet he is not happy about that <laughs> now that's a that's a tough hole to take a three put on with that drive that was a really good drive by Barry so Barry's gonna drop a stroke Calvin snap D and Ricky all take birdies about a 14. hole 14 is 350 Pretty straight, a little bit of a left finish. You want to throw something that holds a hazard all the way and doesn't really get a big skip at the end. Calvin and Snappy look like they just pure it. Yeah, that, those were both detected close by them. They had that, that was a great shot. These, this guardian tree right here to the right of Ricky and the two little ones to the left of Ricky. Hit either one of those and kick either direction and, and you're probably looking at a four if you can't if you don't have a nice little window it gets it gets sticky off the fairway left and right here and there's a ob actually short left of the basket um that's pretty scary if you do catch any cabbage that overhangs in the middle of the fairway and hides her out early that's right i forgot about that ob that runs uh pretty close to where that bush is in the middle of the fairway Ooh. Yeah, you can actually see it right down there. All that little tall stuff down there is the OB. But all all these guys had really textbook shots on this hole. <laughs> mm, catches some stuff right out of his hand. Yeah, I think it did. Good two there by Calvin. The no smile too. He can Continues a trend. <laughs> Snappy taps in his two. Also without a smile. Gets a little photo bomb in there on Barry. Yeah, he does. Barry converts that too, however. With a little half a smile. Yeah. A little rough, rough smile out of Barry there. Ricky taps in for three and loses a stroke to the entire card. That's, that's that's playing right there on hole 14. Three birdies. That's, that's good playing. Heimberg moves into a one-stroke lead. Hole 15. This is a must-get hole. It's a 255-foot shot. I think we played it from the shorts, though, uh, both rounds. There's a longer pad here that we normally play, but we didn't get to play it. Um, it plays 270, and it's just a straight shot. I mean... Oh, Snappy gets a little early with that one, and that's got to go. Okay, that can clear the OB. All that tall stuff down there is uh, OB. So all you're looking for here is a little turnover for mid-range, like Barry's doing right now. Nice little hold on the rock. One oh, time. And he gets that one to run. Wow. Did you go through it? Yeah, <laughs> Ricky throwing his yellow M2 here. Yeah, this hold does not favor a righty or a lefty. It's pretty neutral. Yeah, this is just kind of throw your mid-range or your putter that you know you can go straight, and that's all you need to do. I'm sure you throw a putter here, don't you, Chris? Yes. I threw a PA4 here. Yeah, I threw an, M I threw an M3. Calvin with an odd stance. Gets a chain out. He got mocked. Barry hits about the same place as Calvin with a little less speed and it stays in. Yeah. Lefty Rick, the best drive, gonna tap in his two. Very nice.
two three here is just tough. That's hard. Kind of. It's hard. It's hard to walk by some threes there. Schultz and Ricky with some good twos, and everybody is one stroke behind Calvin now. Hole 16. You want to throw pretty straight with a little bit of fade at the end. Not quite 90 degrees to the left, but pretty close. Chris, how do you feel about hole 16? Um, not one of my favorites. Um, there's, there's a lane, but it's tight the whole way. And then you've got that little bit of OB, the little OB pond in the middle. Yeah, I think a lot of people who, who come out here, I'm about 15 minutes from the course, and a lot of people who come out here and see this this hole kind of wonder why it's on the Grange. Um, the Grange is a great place to play. Oh this, and you see Snap Me. This is a route that Dave and Wiggins tried a long time ago and got it, and apparently Snappy got it twice in practice <laughs> and during the Dark Side Championships. Um, he takes the driver and goes over top of about 100 foot trees and tries to park it that way. Yeah, taking the whole fairway out of the equation. Exactly. And it, when Wiggins did it, it used to be a lot more clear. Barry with a summer under the bucket. He just parked that. <laughs> I don't know. That might be the first time I've seen Barry throw a summer. Tiki practice. Calvin from the right side of the fairway. And where Calvin was, that's generally where you're looking to land. You're kind of going up that tight gap and hitting those guardian trees and you just want to sit right there. Snappy's drive got all the way to there. That's that's really impressive actually. Nice. Saves his three. Nice putt. Good pitch out. Three by Snappy. Another three by Calvin. A little high, he's staring at that bucket with his eyes wide open. Saying thank, thank you. And Barry to tap in his three. It was an amazing summer. That was, that was impressive. The tight line over there where Barry was. It's not often you see all threes on this hole. Now that is that's good. That's that's walking away doing something. Uh, the kick there, unfortunate. And threes are great. Hole 17. This is a nice little Annie turnover shot. Um, a lot of people go with fairway drivers. Some people take their mid ranges. Um, once you get around the corner, wow. you're just kind of looking to coast out so down the hill and the cool. two guardian trees. And if you can do that, you're going to give yourself a putt. Ricky, of course, lefty, going, just got a nice little spike hyzer here. Looks like he's going to Still watching it, that's good. Mm, looks like he catches the front of that hill and gets a little skip. Keep For the turn. skip, I don't quite get to, oh. yeah. I feel good about getting this hole when I get this hole. This is a good one to get. Snappy, giving it the height to get there whenever it crests the top of the hill. Yeah, so Calvin right now is splitting the two guardian trees that you want. He's got a nice little flick viper right up there to about 10 feet. He'll take an easy three. Barry yes. lined up a thumber for the second hole in a row. This is another Barry thumber. Okay, so number one and <laughs> number another two Barry <laughs> Ooh. Ricky looking at a 50 foot downhill putt. Oh. Had the right line. Yes, yeah, a little short. Mm -hmm. That'd be good for his three. I think all of them are going to take relative threes here, easy threes. Um, probably not not too happy to not see a birdie there. Um, that's, that's a good one to get.
After 17, Calvin has a one-stroke lead. Everyone else is tied at 16. Pleasure, fellas. Nice meeting, brother. Hole 18 is dead straight. It says 299, but it plays, would you say 350? At least, at least 350. Two trees in the middle of the fairway that make maybe a 15 to 18 foot gap. Ricky just splits those two, catches a tree a little bit after that. I think you're pretty happy with that shot though. I think that shot on this hole, you gotta be happy. Yes, if you, if you make it far enough to split that gap, you, you're looking at a three at the most, unless you really mess up on the green. Yeah. And that's the line if it fades just a little. Oh. Great pull. Just held over a little bit too much. Yeah, this hole, this hole doesn't look it, but this hole is tight. It is real tight. Like Chris said, 15 to 20 feet all the way up the fairway, and then it finally opens up at the green, but these two guardians right here, you have to get past them. Almost forgot, like you mentioned on hole two, I think Matt Dollar aced this hole last year. He did, with a hatchet. He threw a hatchet on an almost a 90 degree angle, and flipped it up and banged it dead up the gut. Great pup, I snap you there about 50 feet out of the rough. That was a great putt. That's a good two to finish on. Ricky with the best drive. We'll see if he can convert. <laughs> Just a little left. Calvin scratching his head as he taps in for a three. Wonder if that was actually a three or not. Photo bomb. Ricky taps in for his three. Here he takes his three. Snappy with the long birdie on that hole. Fourteen birdie. Him and Calvin are tied up after Snappy. eighteen. Barry and Ricky, one back. Yep, that was uh. That was a good round by them. Good finish. <laughs>